one of the perks of living on a golf course is an endless supply of golf balls. I'll kind of show you where I find them. This is uh, the green of one hole up there and the tee box of another hole over here. So what people do a lot of times on this particular hole, they'll line up back there like they're a pro and launch them right into the sawgrass. At least I think that's what it is, sawgrass. Anyway, this stuff is nasty if you get in it, but if you just kind of poke around, a lot of times you'll find balls all through here. Just depends on what day and who's been out here, but usually, huh, see, there's one. Usually bring a nine iron or a pitching wedge to kind of plunk them out. Let's see what we got. Top flight three XL distance. All right, that sounds good. A lot of uh, Titleist Pro V1 in this uh, in this golf course. Oh, there's another one. I can see it from here. Looks like a uh, Callaway, but let's see. I hate this grass. Oh no, precept. X laddie. I really like the Callaway, the colored ones. They make some of the coolest balls. I don't really do much with them because I have a thousand of them from living here, but. Nah, don't throw it at me right now. Maybe in a minute. These have gotten kind of thick through here. Yeah, right. Why does your face look dirty? Oh, dude, that was all over me. Thought I saw one. There it is. See it down in there. See if I can get it without shredding my hand. Another thing you got to watch out for. Oh, yeah, Pro V1X, title list number seven. Another thing you gotta watch out for in this grass is uh, wasps. They are, you'll take your club and uh, you know, do that, not knowing that you just disturbed a hole. Uh, kids are playing, Disturb, disturbed a wasp nest. As dogs you hear barking are my neighbor's dogs. Been listening to that for a year, but that's about to end. The homeowners association is finally doing something about it. Nothing in there. All right. Uh, we'll keep looking. It always helps too to go on the back side of these. A lot of times the people don't want to go through the grass even though they can uh, just kind of meander through it, find passages. Over there is where they really kind of get, they hook it slightly left. Only the worst golfers hit it into that. The journeyman kind of hit it over into there, so we'll probably find some more over there. I'd be surprised, even these little, little ones sometimes hide some balls. What are you doing? Uh, I'm looking for golf balls, but don't get in the grass. The stuff will get you. I know, I felt it. Ah, there's one. I don't what? know if you can see it. Did you see a snake? No, I saw a golf ball. 
Way down in there. It's a yellow one. Where is it? It's down there. Can you get it? I'm going to try. Without getting shredded. Oh, no, you... Hey, hey, hey. Go play. Where did it go? No, she's not going to hit you. Oh, there's another one down there. That's not even the one I was looking at. Uh, Titleist Pro V1X number four. The one I was looking for is right there. That is a ooh, yellow Titleist True Feel. All right, give me that, please. I like the colored tight. Actually, I like any of the colored balls only because they're kind of more rare than the white ones. The white ones are all over the place here. After the winter, you come in here and the balls are way down towards the center, like, and they're all discolored. You can tell they've been in here for a while. Oh, there's one. Uh, can you see it? Right there. Let's see, what is it? It is a, ooh, another Titleist. TM, poor guy, lost his ball. Pro V1, take that. They're over there playing on the, playing on the bridge. Anyway. See what else we can find. You know, the thing is, this is just one hole. I mean, you could almost make a business out of this. Oh, there's one. All right. I don't know if you can see it yet. There it is. It is a Titleist. Somebody with three dots. Pro V1. I'll take that. Thank you very much, three dot guy. First time when I moved here, I didn't know that the sawgrass was so nasty. So I was digging through it, digging through it, like, you know, whatever, digging balls out. I was like, had just gotten here, so there were balls everywhere. Like, I don't know, I guess people don't do this. I, I only do it because the kids are playing, but man, I was burning for, I don't know, probably a couple hours after that. There's one. Let's see what it is. Bridgestone. I can see it from here. Bridgestone. Three dot dash dot. What is that, 612 speed? I'll take it. Some of these are range balls or whatever. I generally hit them back over here where people can pick them up and whack them. Oh, there's one, another one. Let's see. It looks like, I can't tell. Ha, oh. ah, another Bridgestone. Bridgestones, I don't know what that is, E6. All right, let's see what else. Anything else in here? It's funny too, there's a correlation between, I think, skill and, you know, as to the balls I find, like over, usually closer, I'll find the cheaper balls, you know, the precepts, the, uh, you know, just uh, the, the Bridgestones, the name brand, you know, the no, no name brand. And back here and over, there's another one further over that, uh, that bunker. That's where I find the nice Callaways, Pro V1s, things like that. I mean, it, there's a definite correlation between how far a ball goes and how good it is, but it, could, it just could be skill. People who take it more seriously, maybe use nicer balls, I don't know. Oh 
almost to the edge of this here. Oh, there's one, yellow. I don't know if you can see it down there. What is it? Let's find out. Boy, this one's gonna get me. It is a soft feel Srixen. No sooner do I open my mouth, I find a Srixen. Okay, Let's see what else is here. Some of these bushes are like half dead, so you can't really get down in there. You know, wait till they clip them back and then come raid all the balls out of them. Nothing there. No, there's one. Oh, there's two. I don't know if you can see them down there. There's two right next to each other. Let's see what this one on the left is. It's got some kind of weird design on it. Uh, M. Weir SPM. Distance precision. Ow, dang, man. Freaking sawgrass. I don't even know what brand that is. Shorty, authority, something. Let's see what the other one is. Tailor made number one distance. All right, any more in this? No, nope. all right, let's uh, turn around and check some of these back ones. These are usually the ones that I find uh, hornets in, not hornets, but yellow jackets and whatever. I remember last year, a hey, gopher tore this hole. I wonder how many balls are down there. Probably quite a few. I can kind of look up under the under the sawgrass too. See if there's any up under there. It kind of for some reason lays over on this side, so it's easy to easy to spot but it's also easier to spot for the golfers, so that's generally, they generally find their own. See, this is where it gets me when I'm walking through like this. I'll probably feel that later. Oops, sorry, camera slipped. Nothing. Nothing. Anything behind me? Nope. Ah, there's one. Can you see it? Let's see what it is. Tailor made number two. TPS. All right. Any more in there? Be surprised, man. A lot of times, if you find one ball in a in a bush, you'll find several. The sawgrass is perfect for golf courses because, I mean, the ball basically just gets sucked right down to the middle. I mean, once it hits the once it hits the upper part, it's just like a funnel. So I can definitely see why they use it, but man, is it a pain to get your balls out of? Yeah, you can use that as a sound bite if you want. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, 
See, there you go. Look. See that? That's wasps. Okay, I'm going to uh, steer clear of that one and go over here. Anyway, I don't know how many of you will end up ever doing this, but just keep that in mind. There are wasps, and they do hurt. Nothing. Uh, something in there, but it's not a ball. It looks like trash, maybe. Check this one. The little ones. And then I'm gonna go around. You'd be surprised how many balls I just find laying out here. It's like people hit them out and just don't feel like getting them. So the kids grab them or I grab them. Yeah, there's a golfer over there. Stay over here. Anyway, I'm almost done with this side. I'm going to finish it up, and that'll be a video just to show you what goes on on a golf course when you're watching your kids and bored. I generally don't find that many over here. You'd have to be really... What? No. You'd have to be really bad to hit a ball over here. Can you what? You can get in the soft sand? No, you, no, you can't get in this grass because this grass will hurt you, baby. Anyway, I think that about does it. I don't know how many I found, probably 10, but I've got hundreds more at the house. It's like people, oh, hey, check it out. I know what that is. Let's see. Can I scoot it towards me? Yep, I can. What is it? A tailor-made number three. RBZ Soft. Thank you very much. Anything else over here? Probably not. But you never know. Poke around here for a minute. You know, one thing I haven't seen on this side is a snake. There are snakes on the other side. There's, the there's a lake over there. He's not here. He's over there. All right. I think that's about a wrap. Maybe I'll do another spot sometime. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching.